Has your Elgato Wavelink 3.0 beta crash on you continuously? Have you had any other program crash on you continuously? Then if so, you're in the right place. This is a possible fix for you. We're going to go over Wavelink crashing and other apps crashing, but the fixes for it, we're going to go over the temporary fix for CPU prioritization. And if that works for you, then we'll go over the permanent fix for the CPU prioritization. Without further ado, let's jump right in. For our temp fix for testing, go down to your start menu bar, right click it and click on task manager or open up the Windows settings and type in task manager. Once you're here, you want to make sure you're on the process. Find Wavelink or your other application that it keeps crashing. Hit this button here, right click Wavelink here. Sometimes you can right click the main app here. It'll be grayed out depending on the application that you're using. It may or may not be grayed out and you have to expand the column, right click it and go to detail. You really want to take note to this specific name for the permanent fix later. So write this down for the Wavelink application. This is for Wavelink 3.0 or any other application that you're having this issue for the permanent fix later if this works for you during the temporary fix. Right click it, set prioritization, change it to hot. Every time that you reboot your computer or turn it off and turn it back on, the prioritization will reset back to normal. This only works for this instant. If that fixes your crashing and it doesn't crash anymore during your instance, then we'll move on to the permanent fix. Close this out. This permanent fix requires reg edit or registration edit. For quick access to the registration edit, keyboard shortcut, hit your Windows key plus R and this will pop up at the bottom left hand corner. Type in this, reg edit and hit OK. I will show the specific location of how to get it. Find local machine, click the drop down. Find software, hit the drop down. Scroll down and find Microsoft, hit the drop down. Find Windows NT, drop that down. Current version, drop down. Find image file execution option, drop that down. From here, right click image file execution option. Click new, new key. This is where you want to name it that specific detail under the task manager that I showed you a minute ago. It is case sensitive, so I named it elgato.wavelink.exe based on this right here under detail. Next, right click the Elgato Wavelink.exe that you made, click new and new key. Then name this one perf options, P-E-R-F and click on perf options. Then inside here, right click, click new and you want the D word 32 bit value. Name this one CPU priority class. Double click into this and change the value to three. This is going to be high and click OK. And here are the numeric numbers for the D word correlating to the process tree that I have here for you. Real time is four, high is three, above normal six, normal is two, below normal is five, low or idle is one. And this is how you set up CPU prioritization for apps that are continuously closing or crashing, such as the Elgato Wavelink with the beta. This is what I've experienced with it, and this has been a fix for me. Your miles may vary. Hopefully that it works for you as well. I have done the permanent fix after testing with the prioritization in the task manager. If this video worked for you and fixed your crashing issue, give me a thumbs up, write a comment. If you have any questions, comment away. Anyhow, God bless y'all, and Jesus loves you. Have a wonderful day.